are discussing about the gate 2005 ECE paper solutions and in that one we are discussing about the topic as electron devices this is first two mark question came in to gate 2005 a silicon sample A is doped with 10 power 18 atoms per centimeter cube of boron another sample B of identical dimensions is doped with 10 power 18 atoms of centimeter cube of phosphorus the ratio of electron to hole mobility is 3 the ratio of conductivity of sample A to B is A 3 B 1 by 3 C 2 by 3 D 3 by 2 given silicon sample A is doped with boron atoms of 10 power 18 per centimeter cube and another sample of same identical dimensions B doped with phosphorus atoms with same 10 power 18 atoms per centimeter cube and given electron to hole mobility mu n by mu p is 3 then we need to calculate the ratio of conductivity of sample A to sample B that is sigma A by sigma B the correct answer for this one is B 1 by 3 is the answer we will see the details given that one electron to hole mobility ratio is 3 that is mu n by mu p is 3 and sample A is given as silicon and after doping with boron it will become p type so sample A will become p type with acceptor concentration as 10 power 18 bonar ad boron atoms per centimeter cube like sample B is also silicon but it is doping with phosphorus so after doping with phosphorus it will become n type so sample B will become n type with donor concentration as 10 power 18 donors per centimeter cube now we need to calculate conductivity of sample A to sample B ratio of conductivity of sample A to sample B is sigma A by sigma B that is sigma P by sigma N because sample A is turning towards P type sample B turning towards N type so sigma P by sigma N which is approximately equal to N A into Q into mu P N D into Q into mu N for sigma N because whenever we are neglecting the minority carriers at that time these equations will result for the conductivity so N A and N D are then going to be same 10 power 18 atoms per centimeter cube charge of Q is same and here the conductivity is directly proportional to mu p by mu n so mu p by mu n is nothing but 1 by 3 since mu n by mu p is given as 3 so correct answer for the given question is 1 by 3 thank you